Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is a special edition of the AFC Championship game on EA Sports. Up next, we've got a good one on tap between the visiting Houston Texans and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead with a call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Houston Texans and the Kansas City Chiefs. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. For a berth in Super Bowl 53, away we go. The 2019 AFC Championship game is underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Takes the gift from Mahomes. Falls through and now a crease. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And that's the big fellas at Mo right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well, but that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out, finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them, and we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Following the penalty, it's Williams. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll lead here to a third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stop that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible to something a little more advantageous. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down for the Chiefs, solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here we go now. Mahomes to throw on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Blanketed coverage by Houston. Makes it fourth down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. 
Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Cut. On the ground, this is Lamar Miller. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film, you said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. If that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. It's a loss of two there, bringing out second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Play action for Miller. Now Watson. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The beauty of being able to play his own defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands. Guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Watson now to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. But well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On fourth down, Watson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, we've seen you know, you and I both been to practices where we've seen a third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing lane. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Chris Conley, 35 yards. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. In a game of this magnitude, it's always good to get out to a great start, but a game of this magnitude, you go up early, that's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Psychologically, you now have the advantage as well as on the scoreboard, and also, it's a settling effect for your team. You're in it now. You've got the lead. Let's just go play some more ball. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Justin Houston in there to get him for a loss of five. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Now Watson escaping the pressure right. Throw right side complete to Carter. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you're wondering, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's Texas. A first down carry now for Miller. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. 
I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Off of play action, it's Watson. Forced out to his left. Going deep. That's caught inside the 20. The Clemson connection. Watson to Hopkins for a big one. 45 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So he got three and one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down, here's Watson. And now he'll take it and run. And he's going to get into the end zone. So the fake spike works, and they score. Deshaun Watson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go, go up and look now. at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. We become so accustomed to it, you, you sort of take it for granted. You really do, but he is go, go. so good Blue, that every team in his division, every year, is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the Congress Mahomes hit. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Reset, reset, reset. Hey. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And some nifty running there. Ultimately, it doesn't get him a whole lot, but it does take him to the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And they finally put it into this return, but not before he's all the way down to the 37. Oh, the timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. On the ground, this is where. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. Mahomes now to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC championship. It's a first down. If there was one area that the coach emphasized in our pregame meeting, it was red zone offense. In a sense, I got from it, and I think you did as well. They weren't real happy with how they were executing previously, so they put a lot of time and effort into it because getting points is paramount. doesn't matter what you do otherwise. Don't leave the red zone without putting points on the board. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. 
Mahomes again here on second and ten. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Call it a pickup of seven. And it'll be third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. But if you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. This is cut by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are in for six. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower. Bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. This field it at the two. And a heck of a return as he goes out of bounds across the 50 inside the 45. Partner, when I was in college, we used to have these things called game maxims that we did before every game. One of them said, press the kicking game, for here's where the breaks are made is the area of hidden yardage. How about that return? Flipping the field, taking it past the 50, and getting things set up to start the series. Hopkins on the grab over the middle, and he's going to get this inside the 30. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. <laughs> On first and ten, Watson dumps it complete to Miller. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner. That is caught. Hopkins from the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 26 yards. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. On first down, Mahomes. And Hill with it over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. 390. 390. On second down, here's Mahomes. He's got the hook over the gun. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now on first down. Under pressure and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Zach Cunningham coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Caught here by Conley. So we come upon halftime in the AFC title game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks as always. One half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. 
So with that, let's get you right back out for the second half and the right to represent the AFC in the Super Bowl as I'm privileged to hand things back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. This is Fielded at the goal line. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. It'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. They keep it with Miller on first down. And now running right through it. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think the easy thing now would be to just abandon the run and start throwing the football at all costs. But I've been in so many games where it doesn't work running the ball, doesn't work running the ball, and then something pops, and now you've got something going. I'm not so sure to just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. Here's Watson now on second down. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnover. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. These strong safety, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. This is taken to the 18. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. Now they'll run it on the toss. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. Tally, that is catch number one for him in his AFC Championship. It's a first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing Ready. game because they should Ready. be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot rally, so to speak. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up, because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield. 
for a deeper route go, and then breaks it three, off, usually 90. after about three, three to four nine. steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. Three, what that means three, is nine. his ability to read, react, and make a play. He looked like one of those guys. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Eight yards on the completion. But now they face We're back now in KC. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Working from the gun. Oh, no, he wants the football. And the Texans scoop it. Well, they're going to take over. 22-yard line. Not so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They tell them the ball yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had to all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll be a loss of a yard, and it'll be second and 11. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. To throw on second is Watson. Throw left side complete. It's Griffin. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That catch good for five. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Eight for Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Texan first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Watson going to give this one to Miller. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Tim Carey now for Lamar Miller. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. First and it took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. This is the running back. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Watson now to throw on second down. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, here's Watson. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Again, it's Miller. 
Miller with first down and more. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller, a 23-yard run. And the Texans have broken the tie. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball, too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbairn. And now it's blocked. And all the defense has it. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. Oftentimes when you give up a touchdown, it's really a deflation for your entire unit. And the special teams crew, when they run out there, they still feel it. And maybe they don't go after it so much. Instead, they gave great effort there. Blocked the extra point. It really gave them a lift after giving up the score. Yeah, gave up the touchdown, lost the lead, but a nice job to get in there and block it. Bang! 390! Mahomes now on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And they worked as well on field across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Time for a break. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Mahomes to throw on second down, and he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape all over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. If you have a big-time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback, and then make sure you break in the field. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Back to throw. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Spencer Ware, the intended target. And now it's second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job. You're knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means if the guy's going downfield to catch the ball, you've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Back to throw. Looking middle. Incomplete. Damian Williams, the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want. Get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. We that one goes incomplete. He'll look to throw. Inside the 10 at the 8. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. He's back to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone. And it brings up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one. But that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. He'll get it up the middle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. They'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. J.J. Watt in there to take him down. And the clock will roll. Now the Holmes got to have this one. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And that may put a period on this AFC championship game. 
Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to the bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Reset, reset, reset. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. The Texans on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try to run for it the middle. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. Pulled in at the 24. Well, very good return that time. 18 yards. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. They've got good starting field position as they come up here three, first and 10. Three, Mahomes to throw. Now a desperation throw deep. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. He'll buy some time right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. And it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, the Lombardi Trophy would be nice to hoist. They have to hold off for that for a little bit. Right now, the Lamar Hunt has to feel good to hold. Oh, it's got to feel great for them. And remember, Lamar Hunt helped create the American Football League, which became, of course, in most part, the American Football Conference. And he's the one who gave us the name Super Bowl. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.